Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it's o'clock again, and when I feel like it is the night before the games tomorrow. <laughs> Usually, sometimes I do it in the morning, sometimes I do it at night. Depends on how the wife is. But um, we're going to go over the games from tonight, which we did pretty well on. Um, kind of fell apart later in the evening, but not too bad so far. There's still a couple of them going on. Uh, thank you for heading over to Patreon, where, you know, if you comment down in the comment section, you'll get yourself a free rest of this month. Put your parlays down there. Put some parlays down there. I have a wonderful lady who is going to be helping me, uh, pretty much actually doing the parlay challenge from now on. So she'll be tabulating all the parlays, getting all the points, and every day she'll be telling you who's in the lead and who, all of that. So you can get yourself a free premium month next month to the winner. Um, who right now, I believe, there's only one person that has won anything is Nino Brown, and they haven't given me the odds yet for that parlay that they had. Correct me if I'm wrong. Something tells me, see this is the reason why I'm getting somebody else to do it. I've been so busy. I didn't realize how much work it was gonna be. But anyways, had a good day, sweet little Perla dance for us. Right? Yes. And I'll show you how good of a day we did here in a, right now. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll get uh, Hernandez to head down there with uh, a freshly knitted from Helen Pearl's Wisdom Necklace. So, in the Pearlocopter. So do that. Hit the bell. All of that fun stuff. Because it really helps out. Makes me feel good on my insides down there. You know, down there. Okay. Let's get to uh, what's going on here with uh, do, yes, I do have the NHL thing up. Let's look at the scores. And we'll look at what we had and what we did. Okay. This is not good. I have Vancouver. Vancouver. I got Vancouver to beat the Flames here. I'm, so I'm starting to lose my patience here, Mr. Vancouver Canucks. And uh, Green... And uh, all of you there in Vancouver, Jim ben Benning has been on the hot seat, apparently. Um, you're going to have to come down and get some spankings at the uh, Perla's House of Spanking. Uh, which, so I'll be getting Melissa, you know, depending on how many, how many subscribers we have today. Maybe later on in the evening, you'll have to come down. We'll get you in the Perla copter and you'll come down because this is just not... Uh, acceptable at all um also had the under here so it's not looking good 15 minutes left three two hopefully it stays the same and i lose the canucks bet and i get the under or vancouver comes back and uh i get vancouver in the over but uh not the greatest this one here not the greatest okay mr ducks people we had carlson and Simich out for the Sharks, which is two of their top six defensemen, and they already have bad defensemen. Jones and Nett, you cannot muster. This is a really disappointing loss for the Anaheim Ducks. I thought they were playing a lot better. This was one they really had to have, seriously. You got that kind of defense. You got have those two defensemen out on this roster for the Sharks. You need to have this. Now, I did have the under. The under's still good. We got one more period to see if that. So that would be a wash. And this could be a wash, which would be okay. Coyotes versus Blues, one nothing. We had the under. We had the Coyotes. Boom. Islanders versus Sabres. We had the under. We had the Islanders. Boom. Senators versus Leafs. You think I would lose out on this one, but actually I faded the game because I saw the Maple Leafs, uh, I, with, with what I was seeing with the Maple Leafs and Senators, I was really unsure about the Maple Leafs defense, which obviously showed up here. And um, the Senators were putting things together. They were looking like they were putting things together. I got to get my, there, that's better. It doesn't feel right. 
There. Didn't that look better? I thought so. Uh, so, I faded this game. I didn't bet it at all. Hurricanes versus the Jacks had the over, had the Canes. Boom. Good. So, what are we? Six and six and a wash or something like that. Four, six, six and oh, six and two tie, whatever. What are we? Seven, eight and two. Something like that. Yeah. Panthers lightning. This is where she all goes to crap. <laughs> I had the lightning and the under on this one. And for the life of me, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I really don't. Sometimes I can't, you can't, exp have you know those times when you look back and go, what, why, why were you doing that? Um, I actually wrote a big thing on it and I had a reason for it, but it wasn't a good one and I'm disappointed with myself. I had the Blackhawks and the under here. Good to go. Not good to go. I had the Oilers and the under. <laughs> why did I have the under? Okay, this is partially not my fault. I guess I didn't know Smith was going to be in Smith. If Smith was going to be in, I wouldn't have took the Oilers or the under here. I thought all for sure Koskinen was going to be in. I was so sure I didn't even look, which never, ever, ever should do. That is my bad. So my bad. So as you can see, we did fairly well. We hit a probable. I think it was like, let's, let's look at it. Oh, and two, two and two. Two and four, four and four, fade, six and four, eight and four, wash, wash, probably. We don't know. We'll see what happens with these two here. Uh, hopefully it's a wash for, for both of those. But when you consider the fact that I did all the games except for faded one, that's pretty darn good. Most cappers don't do that. Hitting on those percentages for all those games, especially the way the league is set up right now, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's look at the games for tomorrow, shall we? Um, Tuesday, okay. Yeah, Islanders versus uh, Buffalo. Now I'm going to be looking at, I was going to, I'm going to be looking at the injury list here quite a bit to show you why I'm picking the picks that I'm doing. Um, on a back-to-back, -back, I don't like taking the road team twice very often. But when you have a situation where Buffalo just came off, they got their legs about them now. I think it'll be a tighter game tomorrow. However, when you look at their injuries, we got to find out who who's still... Jake McKay, Brandon Montour, and Rasmus Ristolainen are, as of right now, not going to be in the line, lineup tomorrow. That's three of their top six. That's just too much for me to put a bet on. Either I fade it completely, or I got to go with the Islanders. Now, the question here well, then, of course, would be, what do you do with those defensemen out? There's, um, and, and not only that, they should be going with Hutton on the back-to-back. -back. Maybe, we're going to have to look at cold tender conf confirmation here. Maybe they go with Allmark twice in a row. Let's look at NHL Weekly to see what Buffalo's. Okay. No, they're almost certainly going to go with Carter Hutton here. Because they're going to want to Allmark here. And I don't think they're going to want to play Allmark three games in four nights, even though he's been rested. So... They're probably going to go with Carter Hutton. Carter Hutton has not played well. I got to go with the Islanders here. And I'm even going to lean the over, which I don't like to do with the Islanders. But everything weighs that direction. Let's look at, this is another thing I do. We'll go back and we'll look at how many, how, what's, how, how is the Islanders have been playing? Uh, Islanders, they're on a back-to-back -back now. Are they on three games in four nights? Yes, they're on three games in four nights. So, oh, I probably fade the total. Because their Islanders are a little tired, they may play this one fairly cautious, which they tend to do. 
when they're tired. So I'll probably fade the total, but with Hutton and Net, that, that defense is so bad, I'm probably going to lean the over, which I'm sure will be 5.5. Yeah, 5.5. So, Okay, Washington versus Pittsburgh. Um, where are my games? Right here. Uh, capitals, I got Capitals ML and uh, the over here. Now, again, you got injuries on both sides. Pittsburgh's injuries are, for their defense, are ridiculous. The thing is, is they keep on freaking winning, which it doesn't make sense. I'm almost fady on this game. Last time I took the under because Washington hadn't played in a week. And... I just thought it would be a, a low-scoring game. But with Vanacek, Vanacek is probably going to be in goal for Washington unless they play Anderson. Either way, it's not, they're not, it's not strong for Washington. Um, let's go to the injuries, injury list here again. Washington... has got a lot of people back. And now they should have their legs about him a little bit. Yeah, they've got Kuznetsov back. Uh, they have Orloff back. Samsonov is in the minors getting ready right now. Don't know exactly why they went that route, but apparently he got shelled by the Phantoms his first game. Anyways, he's probably not going to be back for this game. Watch out. Maybe they're bringing him up. I don't know. It's weird why they did that. Uh, Pittsburgh now... Has no Demelin, no Pedersen, no Ricola, but they didn't have it last game and they won. I got it. I'm going with Washington ML because of the juice. You're getting two. What are you getting? 205. Pittsburgh won last time. Washington should win this time. And I got to go the over because I'm not going to let these guys burn me again. Uh, it's just always been over. Jari's not playing the greatest. Pittsburgh's defense is weak, and there's lots of scoring on both ends of the puck here. Probably the over is the best play. New Jersey versus the Rangers. This is what makes capping so difficult this year. New Jersey hasn't played for eons. So they're going to have to get back in the groove again after that kind of a layoff. Rangers should win this all day. Um... Now, also, it's showing, if you look at uh, left-wing lock, goaltender situation, it's showing Scott Wedgwood for some reason. However, I see no injury to Blackwood. So if Blackwood's in, there's more of a chance, but the whole team's got to gel again. Uh, there's going to be, again, look at the injury reports. Injury reports are extremely important right now. Um, so some of the players that are still going to be on the list, Kulikov is going to be out. Gusev wasn't really doing much. They're all COVID-19 related. Heischer, Zajac, they were out without Heischer before they went on the layoff, and they were still playing all right. Lindy Ruff will have these guys prepared as much as you possibly can. He's a great coach and a great motivator. But I just think the Rangers are going to have the stronger legs. I'm going to go with the Rangers. ML, even though the juice is not really great. Uh, I think it's money line 160, 170. I got to go with the Rangers ML here. Um, New Jersey could surprise and have better legs than I was thinking, but I find it hard to believe. Dallas, Nashville. I had some parlays that I did, and they depend on Dallas and Nashville. So I don't know if that gets transferred over to this game. I think it does because we know in Dallas they had a big snowstorm, which is cray-cray, and they canceled the games. I don't even know if the games are going to be going tomorrow. But if they are, I'm taking Dallas. 
Uh, it should be Hudobin and Saros. I'm taking Dallas and I'm taking the over at five and a half. I'm taking the over at five and a half. I don't really like the total as much as I like Dallas in regulation. Los Angeles versus Minnesota. Again, here's a Minnesota team that hasn't played in eons. A Los Angeles team that's banged up on their defense without Roy and Walker. And they haven't for a while. They just beat San Jose 6-2 with that uh, team, though. I just think Los Angeles is going to outwork Minnesota. Not because Minnesota is not going to be trying hard. It's just getting back into sync after losing and missing that many games is pretty difficult to do. And I think you're getting pretty good juice. Yeah, you're getting plus money on the Los Angeles here on the ML. So I'm taking Los Angeles ML. Vegas versus Colorado. Colorado, if we look at the injury reports again, uh, this is NBC Sports injury reports. I find that they're pretty darn good with updating. Um, Laner, it's going to be Flurry again. Flurry's been playing off the charts. Uh, sucks that they're without Theodore, but Peter Angelo is back. Colorado now. We go to Colorado, who we should have their legs a little more because they played already, but they're without Landeskog, Gerard, Makar, uh, Francos, which doesn't really matter because they're going to be playing uh, Grubauer anyways. I'm li I got to go with Vegas here. Um, Vegas here, ML. And... I'm going to lean the under if it's a six. What is the under here? What is the line? Total. It's five and a half. Eh. I mean, Vegas can score like crazy when they want to. Just Colorado is such a strong team, and being without their offense to play a lot of their offensive players, they're probably going to play a pretty tight game around Grubauer, so it might be tough to score. Fleury playing as well as he is. I could see this being like 3-1 or something like that. Four, it could be 3-2. It could be 4-2. It's I'm leaning under, and I think Vegas will win this simply because Colorado is missing a lot of pieces. And... Uh, they're at home. So Vegas is my pick. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I have to give today. Uh, thanks for coming around and uh, enjoying this fine programming. Hitting the bell. Comment in the comment section. Give me your parlays, please. I just want to have fun. And if you do comment, come over and frolic over at the Patreon, man. We're having a blast over there. It's good times. Every I give you all my uh, I give you a write up of all the games in the morning and my picks for the games. I'm sitting I'm playing just about every single game and I'm playing just about 70 percent right now on every single game. Tell me a capper that gives you an input on every game and that and tennis. I slipped a little bit lately. Australian Open has been tough. I think I've lost four in a row. But overall, I'm hitting 75%. If you enjoy tennis, we do tennis picks over there. NCAA, I'm 7-3. And, three. and uh, what, basketball, 11-7. And, seven. and uh, football, we were 65% this year. Uh, but most of all, it's just the frolic, right? So head over there. I want to see you. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, yeah, don't forget Chanel now. Chanel's going to be down there. And Chanel's going to be doing the Parlay Challenge. We have a Parlay Challenge at Patreon, too. And if you win that Parlay Challenge, you also get a free month. So you're making money, getting free months. And when we reach 50 subscribers, and we're at 27 right now, we just pretty much started, you're going to get, I'm going to do a draw, and the person who wins will get, well, one year free, one year free.
of premium picks. There you go. So head over there and do that. Love you guys. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.